Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how can we read the data from a CSV file using C Sharp. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So for that guys, let us create a new project. So let me give the project as console.net. So I need this one, console.app.net framework. Let me click on next. So I'll write reading data from CSV file. Let me click on create. Let it create this project. Now the project has been created. So now let us see the file which we are going to read. If you have seen my JMeter videos, I would have used one file. API CSV countries. So if I just open this, you can see I will have an API. Countries API, which I will be reading. This is just a CSV of the country. So this one simple CSV. Let us now read. So for that guys, let me take the path of this file. So let us click copy as a path. So now I have copied the file path. Let me start this program. So now for adding a reader, stream reader, basically we will be using stream reader to read the data from the CSV file. So let me import that library. So I will write using system dot, if I put dot, there will be many libraries so i need io library so now let us start typing the file name so i'll write string so your yeah, file name equal to my file name i'll write the file path sorry just let me write file path here the file path i'll be giving as this yep yeah. This is the country's API. You have to give semicolon at the end. So now let us try the try block. We'll have catch block also. So now here we'll create a stream reader. So let us see stream reader. So we got stream reader. So I'll be trying this it's using stream reader. So I'll be using a variable reader equal to new file path. So already we have got a suggestion. So we will use the same suggestion. So inside the try block after that using. So let me create open bracket close bracket under using. So let us see what is this error. So try expected catch. Of course, we will create a catch in a while now. So now we will write. Uh, so it is telling string line reader read line. So I don't want to read line just like that. So I want to write a condition also. What is the condition we will write? We will read, we'll read this but we will write a condition that if the line is not equal to none. If it is not equal to none, then print it in the console. If I do like this, if it is null is also there, then console will have null also, right? So I'll just write string line for now. So I'll write while. So this is what I like. See, there are automatic suggestions. See, line equal to read line not equal to null. So obviously we'll use the same thing. So I'll write open bracket close bracket. Here I'll write console dot right line I'll use right line of what I'll write see line so this is what I'll be writing down now see we still have an error so we so okay also we have to use a semicolon at this point see after the try block we have a catch what is this catch we'll catch an exception that's it what exception will give e 
exception e so i'll write console dot right line right line of exception e dot if we dot we get many things i'll put message for now so that was automatically suggested now we'll write at the end console dot read key so that uh, not read line let's say console sorry console dot read key wait what does read key does the press key is displayed in the console window so we, if you want to see the output in the console window you have to write a read key method so now let us run this i will um, easily know like what a, see in the api csv countries only the country's api is there so this api we will get to know in the console window so let me click on start now so build is running reading the data from the csv so now we got this so let us see the response see we read the entire csv data so i'll close this so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe if you have any doubts any suggestions please put in the comments below till then guys take care have a great day bye bye